Have you observed uncontrolled shaking movements of the hands of elderly in your house or at neighborhood? Hi, I am Dr. Sheetal Mundhada. Watch this video to know about Parkinson's disease and how can you help people around you who are suffering from it. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder which happens due to deficiency of the substance called dopamine in the brain which is responsible for sending messages from the brain to a different parts of the body. This deficiency of dopamine happens as a result of exposure to pesticides, herbicides, industrial plants, free radical or genetics. Parkinson's commonly occur after the age of 50 and may get worsen over a time. The most common symptom of the Parkinson's is tremors or a shaking of the hands while doing any activity or even at the rest. The movements become extremely slow, rigid and jerky along with the uncontrolled movement while sleeping which causes sleep disturbances. It is difficult to start walking and once get start walking it is difficult to stop. The distance between the two feet is small and the knees are in bent position. Your back become hunched. There is loss of facial expression making your face like a mask. There is excessive production of saliva, loss of smell and difficulty in speaking and along with a constipation. Exercises plays a crucial role not only in maintaining physical health but also in mental health as depression and mood disorders are very common in Parkinson's. Balance and coordination exercises are important to prevent a risk of fall, to enhance precision, to get rid of tremors and to improve a functional independence. Strength flexibility and endurance exercises are important to improve the range of motion of the joint and a capability to carry out the daily life function successfully. Postural correction exercises promoting a proper alignment of the spine and improving the hunchback posture will prevent further deterioration. For maintaining the lungs health, deep breathing exercises Huffing and cuffing technique should be learned. Did this video help you to know about a Parkinson disease and how to maintain health if you or your family member is suffering from it? Don't forget to leave your comments to share your views and queries down in the comment section box. For more such educational videos, don't forget to subscribe to your physio.